Welcome back to GDC 2018. We just got done playing A Way Out. Co-op is the name of the game here. You can't play this game solo. You can sort of play it online, but it's really expressly designed for you and a buddy sitting in the same room, playing on the same split screen to get through the game. Which, you know, that's, that's one of the points of the game, right? That sometimes we may disagree on what we want to do, but I think on this one, uh, we 100% agree Absolutely. that that dude needed to get punched <laughs> on his face. Well, you play as a pair of guys that have to break out of prison and get away from the cops, hence a way out. Honestly, I really dug it. Well, let's see, what do we do in the game? We've escaped from the police to start uh, by driving our car, uh, stolen police car off of a cliff, and we are now uh, traversing the, the woods, trying to get down off of uh, this side of this mountain. It all ties into the co-op mode, right? Because there's that one point where we both had to kind of time ourselves oh, to take yeah. out both of the guards. You take that guy, I'll take that guy. All right. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh. So you have to sort of communicate with each other. And, well, we stole a police car. We did, and we definitely uh, stole a police car. We beat the crap out of a whole lot of security <laughs> guards. Uh, my character, Leo, was just, just Yeah, Leo's banging. pretty brutal, pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, Vincent, on the other hand, is like sort of the more calm of the two, right? Yeah. Well, let's go that way. We should be able to sneak under the bridge. Uh, it's interesting as you're kind of going through the story, right? You have to make decisions that, you know, will bring up, I sometimes can change the storyline. Yeah. The thing about playing that in co-op is that you have to make those decisions together, right? One of the things that we decided to do together was uh, basically take out this one security guard because <laughs> he just looks suspect and I didn't yeah. like his attitude, so we were both like, yeah, yeah this no, guy's gotta it. go. This guy's gotta go. Yeah. I think we should just knock him out, dude. Yeah, you I don't like his, yeah, I don't like his looks. You don't like his face? We hit him so hard, and we knocked his mustache off. You can see it in the later cutscene, I swear. I think that was a different character. But... Oh, weak. <laughs> the theme of the game is sort of a cinematic adventure. I think one of my favorite things right away um, is that it reminds me of one of my favorite games of all time, which is uh, The Last of Us. So it's, it has that sort of cinematic feel. Not just the cutscenes, but just the way the game feels overall, where you're uh, the way it's shot and the way it's framed, it feels very, very cinematic. The central point of the whole thing is cooperation. Uh, after we got away from the cops, we had to make camp in, a, in the backwoods for a little while, so we had to work together to gather firewood, start a fire, uh, make spears, and then work together to catch fish with one person splashing the water. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to catch these fish, but we'll just keep splashing until we do. The other person standing real still and then pop it. The main thing that stuck out to me is that even though it's not a, an open world game, right? It doesn't, it also doesn't feel very linear. And we're told there are about 20 chapters. We tried about like four of them, I think. Three or four, Three or four of them and... Still, I mean, it, it's enough to spend a, a full day on. Uh, if, if you've got a Saturday or a Sunday with nothing to do, grab yourself a buddy, sit down on the couch and give this game a shot. So the demo we played was on the PlayStation 4, but the game actually will be available for PC and the Xbox One. And it comes out this Friday for 30 bucks. A friend of yours can download the trial for that game and then you guys can play the full game together. So 30 bucks for a game that's very well polished and that's that kind of takes you, you know, back to the, the old times where you could just there was no online game and gameplay and you could just play with a friend and, and just kind of sit there on the couch and just play until you got tired of it. And, that does it for us for right now. We'll be here all week, so stay tuned to Engadget for complete GDC 2018 coverage.